Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about high density films, the application process, and what they're kind of used for in our industry. Um, our, our film, Chromaline's film, is called the Super Fat Film, which is designed for high density screens. Uh, those high density screens can be used um, for special effects. They can be used more industrial purposes. I've got a customer that actually prints gaskets right onto car parts using our Fat Film 700. Um, so there's there's a wide variety of applications that can be used for those high density screens. And one of the things is people, there's a lot of confusion about the application process and, and how they work and, uh, and um, kind of what they're used for. There's a lot of cool prints that are out there that people always see and they wonder how they're done. Um, and with some of those special effects inks, high density inks, you need to have the proper screen and the proper screen is a high density screen. Our fat film comes in uh, 100 microns all the way up to 700 microns thickness. So it's industrial coated at those thicknesses. Um, today I'm gonna be using our fat film 400 for my demonstration. I'm going to show you exactly how I personally apply this to, use to the screen. There's a, there's a variety of different ways, uh, and I'm not saying some of the other ways are wrong. I just find the way that I'm going to be doing it today the, the easiest, most consistent way of applying our high-density film. Um, it's, it's applied using direct emulsion. So it's not a true capillary film where people think, hey, fat film, super fat film is a, is a high density capillary film. It's not a true capillary film because it doesn't just use water. Where capillary films, you use just the water, just like if you look at my other video that I've got posted on here, applying our quick film, which is a capillary film, I'm just using water and, and it uses the water and capillary action to actually suck that film right into the screen. But, with fat film, high density films, um, it doesn't actually absorb into that screen, so it's applied using the direct indirect method um, where you use direct emulsion actually to adhere that piece of film to the screen. One nice thing about that process is, say you're using the fat film 400 like I'm gonna be using today, that screen is gonna have 400 micron thickness of a screen at the end. Whereas with capillary film, a lot of that absorbs into the screen, so you lose some of that. So say your, your capillary film is a 40 micron capillary film, you might end up with a 20 micron EOM after that film has been absorbed into that mesh using capillary action. But with high density films, it doesn't suck into it as much. So with a 400 micron piece of film, you end up with a 400 micron EOM or relatively close to that. Um, so I'll just show you here. This is, like I said, I'm going to be using our Fat Film 400. And obviously you want to work under yellow UV safe lights. Uh, I'm just under white light here today for demonstration purposes and for the video, but always be working under yellow UV light safe technology. So with the fat film, there's you get the film and there's a couple different sheets on here that I'll show you. So there's a, a thicker piece of mylar on one side. This is the carrier sheet. So that carrier sheet stays on during that application process. The other side of the film, there's a very thin piece. This just comes off during the application process. But the thicker piece stays on until the screen has been dried. After the screen has been dried, you'd peel that off, just like capillary film, but uh, you'd, you'd peel that off after it's been completely dried and then you can go to expose your screen. So I'm gonna show you the application process here. Uh, I'm gonna be using UDC HV today, a dual cure emulsion. Um, you can use any of our direct emulsions to apply our fat film to the, to the screen. However, 
I typically recommend an emulsion that has some sort of water resistance because when you're washing the screen out, it, like I said, a 400 micron screen, that's an extremely thick screen. So when you're washing that out, you're going to have to be washing it out with a high pressure washer for a good amount of time. Also, one other thing I want to mention is you want to have a really good light source to work with high density screens. Um, if you're using fluorescent tubes or any of, you know, halogen bulbs or any of those very low um, outputting UV spectrum bulbs, you're going to have a lot of difficulty exposing these, these films. So something like a metal halide, even LED, something that has a lot of UV light is going to work well with our high density films. So with that, I'll do a little demonstration here and show you how I typically recommend applying fat film to a screen. So for the application process, what you'll need is obviously you'll need your super fat film. Uh, I'm using our UDC HV direct emulsion. Like I said, you want to have an emulsion that has some sort of water resistance because as you're washing the screen out later, you're, you're going to be washing it out for a good amount of time and something that has more water resistance is going to work a little bit better. So something like our UDC Ace, CP Tex, UDC HV, anything that has any sort of water resistance is best. However, you can use any of our direct emulsions. I've got people that use Chroma Blue and have perfect success with that as well. But I personally like to use something with water resistance. So you've got your, your fat film, your direct emulsion, UDC HV in this case, and need a scoop coater and a screen. This is just a 11080 mesh screen. Uh, you're gonna wanna, when you're using high density screens, you're gonna wanna use uh, pretty much 110 at the, at the max. You're gonna wanna use those lower mesh counts um, to be able to resolve and be able to print the, the artwork that you're trying to with those high density prints. So how you, how you begin is you begin with the direct emulsion. And as I mentioned, there's multiple ways of applying high density films to your screen. This is just the, the process that I like to use and I find to be the easiest. Again, you wanna work under yellow safe light conditions. I'm obviously not working in that, but this is obviously just for demo purposes. So I've got my dual cure emulsion right here. I'm gonna fill my scoop coater as you normally would. Get the lid back on there. So how you'd begin is you would coat your screen the way that you normally would with your scoop coater. So I've got my screen right here. Turn it around, last pass from the back side. So I've got a good gloss to the front of that right now. See that good sheen. So from here, I'm going to wipe off the edge of my scoop coater because I am going to be using this again. To apply the fat film. I typically will use uh, a clean dry scoop coater for this process, but I only have one here at the moment, so that's what I'll be using. Again, you want to take off the flimsy sheet on the back side, leaving the thick mylar sheet on the outside. So what I'll do then, is I will 
place this over the screen, emulsion side down. You can see it start to suck in using a dry, clean scoop coater. Push that edge right up into that. And coat like you normally would. Just pressing that into that direct emulsion. Easy enough. You can come from the back side if you want. Just to clean it up a little bit. But that's all there is to it. You'd let this strain dry. Once it's dry, you'd peel off that mylar carrier sheet and expose. Easy enough. If you've got any questions on this process, feel free to reach out to me, uh, kkelf at chromeline.com. You can reach out to me on Instagram, Emulsion Guru, and I'll see you with the next installment down the road.